Megan, you're extraordinary, and I hope you know that. You are one of the kindest, most patient, most loving people that I know. You're also my baby sister. And I love you. Now, you're also clumsy. <laughs> and you have an ability to lose things that seriously knows absolutely no, no bounds. Clark, did, did Megan get you a, a wedding gift for today? Even that watch, the most important thing for Megan to have today, minus the rings, was at four o'clock this morning, lost. Hopelessly, terribly lost. Only rescued by some good Samaritan who happened to find it in the lobby of the Hilton Hotel and turned it in at the front desk. But Megan, as, as, as clumsy as you can be, and as well as, as you can lose things, we also know that, that you can find things. Because you and Clark found each other, and the world is going to be a better place because the two of you are together. What a gathering of so many family and friends. And, and I know that Megan and Clark are grateful uh, that you came, many of you, at you know, a great sacrifice. Long airplane lines over Thanksgiving weekends, long drives. Some of our friends were up at 5 o'clock this morning driving, trying to find this place in the middle of nowhere, worrying if the GPS was going to work because there wasn't going to be any cell service out here in the woods. But fortunately, everybody got here, and some of you got here early. So we are grateful that you are here with us today. Hi, baby. I love you. When you're married, you are to be stronger as you complement one another in gifting. You're leaving your parents today and cleaving to one another, and that becomes your first ministry and your first priority from this day forward. There are going to be days that you don't feel in love, but the Bible talks about love beyond a feeling. It talks about a commitment that is deep and rooted in a choice that you make every single day to love one another well. Well, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Clark, you may kiss your bride. It is with great pleasure that I get to be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Clark Garland. <laughs>